We were asked all the time, when are you having kids? Um, and the more our friends would have children, the more they would ask. <laughs> I can't. You can, come on. Can't. That's it. Deep breath, deep breath. You're doing really well. And then in 2011, completely out of the blue, we conceived and I was told that it was an ectopic pregnancy. Oh! 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 You're admitted immediately to then have this horrible operation to remove one of your full pain tubes. Phil, oh, come on, try and get your wits about you a wee bit better. I know it's the middle of the night, but... <laughs> I said, get your wits about you, didn't be like Speedy Gonzales. Oh, oh. I hate that she wears a trousers thing, but from an outside perspective, people would always say I'm the boss. What? I don't think I'm going to get past this point. You're going to... Soft, soft, just breathe. <laughs> Get off my back, get off my back. <laughs> I'm quite feisty, I want everything done yesterday. Rose's got standards up here. <laughs> and if you don't meet them standards, then you know about it. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> right. Do you want me to have a little look and see how you're doing? Break the bad news. <laughs> like three, might, three not bad. might not be bad. Might not be bad. You've ten days over now. Mm. Yeah, three sweeps later, a whole pineapple, several extremely hot curries. <laughs> yeah, ten days later. None of it works, does it? <laughs> take your buttons off. I'll wash my hands. Take the bottoms off. <sighs> when Rowan walked in the first day of work, I was very, I was intrigued by her. Really, my confidence used out, and she was different to everyone else I've met before. They love him coming. <sighs> I moved down from Scotland to work for a bank. We found out we were getting a male manager and I was quite excited. <laughs> and then he turned up and I thought, oof. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite That's disappointed. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but obviously his personality shone through. Yeah, eventually, yeah. Eventually. <laughs> Do you want to leave the room now? <laughs> <laughs> Part of the attraction with Phil was he was just always a nice guy. And he was quite career driven. And I liked that, I admired that. I like someone that's driven. I'll be back in two seconds. Thanks, Daddy. OK. Right, where's my case? Yeah, do you want to get your stuff out? Just... That's my tanky. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. What are you looking for? What? What are you looking for Is now? Well, I'm not going to have bottoms on, am I? One fateful night, I got really drunk and texted him because I became even more forward <laughs> when I'm sober. <laughs> um, and just not quite as politely said, get the hint. <laughs> I had no idea. I literally had no idea. And when I got the text, I thought, oh my God. Really? <laughs> In a no nice way, I had no idea. It's normally the guys go after the woman, isn't it? I've never had that before, to be honest with you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. That's a bad one. He just yeah. went from living with his mum to just living with me. Yeah, no, that's it. That was it. That's all yours. All right. Yeah. Being a mum is something that I've always thought about. My sister had children quite young. Mm. I used to spend every moment that I could with her and her kids. <sighs> Girl. Okay. Nice deep breaths. Come on, you're doing really, really well. 
I suppose my struggle to conceive actually started before I moved down from Scotland, before I fell. <laughs> I had a miscarriage at 19. I don't think I was mentally equipped to deal with that. And it just seemed like everyone, you know, they were able to have children without any problem. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, keep pushing. Oh, my God. Oh. Doing really, really well. What's oh, my God about? You're doing brilliantly. I went through years and years of a grieving process. I mean, to this day, I still mark the anniversary. Um, and I often think, gosh, I should have a teenage child by now. Keep breathing. Well done. I moved to Liverpool largely to have a fresh start, I suppose, but also just to come to terms with what happened. Just kind of escape from everything. Okay. Mm. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this on natural. Oh, <sighs> what do you mean you don't think you're going to be able to do it? But you're doing it, Ro. You've got all this way on your own. It'll be fine. So close, honestly. <clears throat> when we first started living together, we agreed to kind of hold off from having children for quite a while. I think we wanted to enjoy life first, go on the holidays, yeah. do go to nights out and enjoy life first before we started settling down. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we were asked all the time, when are you having kids? Um, and the more our friends would have children, the more they would ask. Excellent. I can't. You can. Come on. Can. That's it. Deep breath. Deep breath. You're doing really well. And then in 2011, completely out of the blue, we conceived and I was told that it was an ectopic pregnancy. admitted immediately to then have this horrible operation to remove one of your full pain tubes. Can we have a little listening? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hey, Trying for a baby without much success, you feel like you, it's you against the world. Everyone around you is ha are having children. Every advert on the TV is about babies and nappies and milk. You just want to know, am I ever going to experience that feeling of a baby moving inside? It wasn't an easy time, but it was tr very difficult trying to support each of them. That's it. Come on. <sighs> I did find that really difficult. Come on, that's it, okay. Breathe through that now. Three, 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 three. Fantastic. He's moving round. That's it. Is it just his body now? Yes. There was a big push down, OK? We really need baby to be coming with the next contraction, OK?
gonna do is we're just gonna get some of the other girls in and we're just gonna change your position. Okay, okay. Wait, it's not coming. So can we take this out? I want you to stand come on, up, sweetheart. Right, right. So come okay. on, you come really on. need to stand up now. Come on, sweetheart. Okay. Come on, good girl. Right, okay. You got a confession. Come on, we just push Come on, you can do it. Go for it. Yeah, help. Go on. Come on, you can do it. Hey. He's big. I've always wanted something strong will for myself to bring my confidence out, which she's done now. Oh. She is between women, she wouldn't believe that, but she is. I do find myself really, really lucky. I can't yeah. wait. The way things have worked out for us. <laughs> no wonder! You did brilliantly! <laughs> I didn't think newborn clothes are going to do him. No, I'm going to six months, probably. You look way Oh, my God. <laughs> you are a big tank. He's beautiful, isn't he? The size of him. He weighs a ton. With my first baby, Charlie, towards the end, things didn't go according to plan. I had a feeling something wasn't quite right, but I obviously didn't know how uh, serious at the time it was. You're going to be fine, hon, but I need you to bring that self-belief, mm. OK? I'm going to remind you time and time again. I would like to think in the delivery suite this time around I'd be a lot more calmer than I was before. Last time I sort of lost control a bit because it didn't come off the way I thought it was going to. You know I'm going to be an absolute wimp. No, you... <laughs> You're going to be fab. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you say that? Because I was a total wimp last time. <laughs> You're going to be super cool this time. I'm hoping I can be in a bit more control the second time around and it will go a lot smoother for me, hopefully. Excellent. Smash it. I can feel pressure down below, like she said. I told you it'd be quicker the second time. We need to think of a name, Paul. You must have choices in I your agency. Oh, choices, yeah. Harry, Harry Ethan and... Ethan, Finlay, Ben. Ben, Alpha. That's a definitive list. <laughs> What's wrong with Alex? Who well, said Alex? You, said Alex. Alex. you just said Alex, didn't you? No. All right. Don't we throw another name into the mix? We might as well have one more, eh? Do you not like Alex? No. She's just breathing through one now. I'm going to get you to bring your knees up for me, if you don't mind. Ankles together, just let your legs flop, OK? Gosh, we've got a very low head there. Hairy head as well. I thought he was going to say hairy something else then. Hairy head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's better second time round. I've been telling her that. I don't it's think quicker. I can do it without an epidural. Well, it's hurting enough of as it is. Of course you can. To be honest, I think um, I want the epidural. I'm not being no hero. With my first baby, Charlie, towards the end, things didn't go according to plan. Charlie was struggling to come out, so they uh, had to do an episiotomy, and when they did that, I lost quite a lot of blood. What happened last time was a different baby, different pregnancy, different time, different midwife, everything, and a different Sam as well. OK, this time you're going to get into the zone, the pool is free, you got me. <laughs> I had a feeling something wasn't quite right, but I obviously didn't know how uh, serious at the time it was. You're going to be fine, hon, but I need you to bring that self-belief, mm. OK? I'm going to remind you time and time again. There was just more and more and more blood coming out, whereas Sam was oblivious to it because um, she couldn't feel the pain. There was a lot of things going on in the room and, and Charlie was taken away by the consultant. So Sam was like, you're not going to say hello to, to, to Charlie? Yeah, but I was, I, you know, for me, there was more of a concern of what's going on here. Try a few different things and see how you get on. The pool is wonderful. A lot of women who've had epidurals before go in the pool and say, God, this is amazing. Let me go and get the pool ready and I'll be back in again, guys. Water's still going. I better turn it off before we flood the place. Check the pool for me. Just check and see, hon, okay? 
Just imagine you're in a big jacuzzi. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Go with it. Don't be frightened at any point, okay? Yeah, I feel like whenever I've got a contraction, I need a wee. That's at the front, and then it'll start to go towards the back. You'll start to feel pressure in the back as well. So don't poo in the pool. <laughs> got a little colander there. Just scoop it out. Look, I'm not lying either. Have you? <laughs> I'm only joking, that's for other things. <laughs> oh! Don't breathe through it. You're doing well. Last time, Charlie did get taken away. We didn't have the, the tears or, or, you know, the baby's been born. With me not having it first time round, I'd like to have that instant contact. It would feel more special having that experience. Oh! It's all right. Go with it, go with it. You're going to cut the cord, yeah? Yeah. Super. You showed me what to do. I can't remember oh, well. what happened last time because it was a bit of a chaotic... Towards the end. Towards mm -hmm. the end like last that. time, so... My hopes for this birth is that I get to hold a new baby and experience that birth, which I didn't really get to experience the first time around. Only when you're ready, then, OK? So, all right. Some of the pop. Yeah, it's your waters. Yeah. <laughs> Keep you're it going. You're doing well, Sam. You're doing well. Ah! Go on, that's it. Go on, go on, ah! go on, push no, down the table. No, we need to push. Ah! Which is good. We love you, Tom. Just before yeah. 20 past six. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's important to have the bonding relationship with me not having it first time round. Say cheese. Ooh, he's opening his eyes. <laughs> to see Paul hold the baby for the first time. I'm going to feel really proud. Oh, it's OK. Hiya, sunshine. Say cheese to Nana. And always nice for the baby to be reassured that mum and dad are there. It'll be a sheer joy that someone else has added to the family. For me, the best part is when the baby is delivered where you see mum hold that baby and the dad there. Hello. <laughs> All three of them are encased in love. It is magical. There's no other place of work that I think would describe that feeling. That's the great part about our jobs, is that no two days are the same. And even in the same day, no two ladies that you look after are the same. With my first little girl I found out I was pregnant when I was 14 and I was 15 by the time I had her. That's so young, really, isn't it? That is really strong. <sighs> I was living with my grandparents because my mum had passed away when I was younger and um, my dad's never been really around. This is just the start and it hurts. Oh. Me and my little girl's dad was very, very young and a bit crazy, if I'm completely honest. Um, to the left. I'm so scared. No, come on. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You've been building up for this nine months. No, but I'm excited now as well. Hiya, uh, it's Natalie Stride. You'll turn your mobiles off. Well, we will have to. Let's just get in first. I'm 22, just gone. <laughs> and I'm 18 years older. He's 39. Yeah, 39 years old. Almost 40. So you're moving 40, you. Wow, it's nice to hear. I wasn't even born when he had his first kiss. You were, like, settling down with a previous yeah. relationship and stuff yeah. as I were being born. Basically, she's coming for induction because she's got SPD. Do you know what it is? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. SPD is a condition in pregnancy that affects your pelvic joints and it can be really uncomfortable when doing day-to-day -day things like walking and getting up and down the stairs. It is just because of the SPD yeah. that you've yeah. been induced, isn't it? Do you want to bring your ankles up to your bum? That's it, lovely. OK, so it'll be cold jelly first, yeah. all right. Some nice deep breaths, this is uncomfortable. 
and you would know that, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's a diff. <laughs> yeah. I've been told that nice deep breathing helps. <laughs> Huh. I'm a taxi driver, so this one day I get this job off Goopton. Uh, I pulls up outside this house and out walks Natalie. She gets in the car and you, you know, you just get this spark with some people sometimes. We just hit it off straight away. Uh, we had a bit of banter. A bit sometimes, of a... it's been up and again. <laughs> <laughs> Your cervix is still like a centimetre thick. Yeah. But you're about a good two centimetres. She was telling me that a job comes out every day, so it was a decent fare, so I went to office and I asked That's for That's why a fare. you asked for it. Of course it is. Because it was uh, a decent fare. And then <laughs> she, she got in the car and basically the more and more we got, the more and more we, uh, we went, the, the more and more we fell for each other. Walking around and bouncing on a ball or something, it'll stimulate those hormones to make you contract. And get the show on the road. Yeah, and get your baby in your arms. <laughs> we still get butterflies for each other. Sex is awesome. Don't say things like that. Holy uh, sh. Uh, well, it is. It's uh... Why, why be prudish about it? That's how Robin got here in the first place. Come on, Robin. No going back now. No sending me home. Nothing. Yeah, literally gonna have a baby. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Best way to get this baby up. Isn't it? Yeah. With my first little girl, I found out I was pregnant when I was 14 and I was 15 by the time I had her. That's so young, really, isn't it? That is really strong. <sighs> I was living with my grandparents because my mum had passed away when I was younger and um, my dad's never been really around. This is just the start and it hurts. Oh. Me and my little girl's dad were very, very young and a bit crazy, if I'm completely honest. Um, and we'd split up. I can do this, I can do this. You can, Mum, you've fucking... done it before, you can do it again. You're a stronger person now as well, aren't you? Uh, this time round, for Natalie, rather than the first time when she had her first daughter, Saffron, having a partner that stands by her, uh, try and help her through it the best you can, do you know what I mean? Uh, and just try and be there. Shane is massively protective of me and my little girl and he kind of tries his best to give us the security and, you know, like, provide and is very, like, old-fashioned valued in that sense. <sighs> oh. Contraction? Tell him I want some hair relief. I can't do it. Uh, midwife. <sighs> Shane wants to put us in this sort of bubble and, you know, this, like, perfect sort of world and where there's no upset or anything and no stress and he just wants to stick us in it and keep us there. Midwives, 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 whatever you're hiding. I hate this, but you feel like a spare part. With my first little girl, my labour was horrible. It was, like, 36 hours long and it just took forever. What do you think about a water birth? Uh, I'll give it a try. If we were going to do it, we'd move you into another room <sighs> with the big pool in. I was pushing for, like, nearly four hours and she was just stuck. And then her heart stopped. So we're literally just down there. She were like grey and floppy, and the midwives and stuff. I could, I think back and I could kind of see that they were panicking a little bit. I can't do it. I can't, can't. do it. I'll <laughs> give you some gas. Feel... You can do it. Don't tell yourself you can't because you can. Just think positive. You can do it. It's quite scary to think that, that could happen so easily again. I'd never thought about having any more children two years and loads of heartache later because we had a couple of miscarriages. Here we are. 
Go with it. All right, sweetheart, just go with it. Go with it. I've got a son uh, to a previous relationship, James. We just didn't want any more children. When my first went to school, and it was kind of like, oh my God, she's all grown up and she doesn't need me anymore. I need yeah, another, she got I need, broody then. I need someone to need me. I need someone to like be at home and actually need me. It's all right, sweetheart, just go with it. <laughs> you can, you can. You can do can. it. You're doing great, babe, come on. When we have Robin, it's just complete with family. She's like everybody's. Yeah, she's a part of everyone, sense. part of me, Natalie, Saffron, your firstborn, James, my son. <laughs> Doing brilliant, baby. You are. Really good. <sighs> well done. Go on, that's it. You can just see the top of baby's head, so just go with your body. Come on, you can do this. Stay focused. I think because I didn't have a dad, I kind of thought they weren't that important. Put yeah. me on as hard as you need to, Bob. With Saffron, it was just like, you don't need a man in her life and stuff. And then when, I, when we did get together with like me and Shane, and I seen the, the difference in her, I think that made me realise that they are quite important. Nice amount of baby's head we can see. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So baby's not going back in now. Keep that steady breathing in between. That's have it. a look, have a look. Come out. So we want another big push from you, sweetheart. Can you feel? Go on, big push. Catch you there, big. Well done. How amazing is that? <laughs> You've done it.